It's a very special evening at Imperial Fields tonight as Dulwich Hamlet welcomed Premier League opposition in Crystal Palace for a special fundraising match. The home side had a day to forget at Eastbourne Borough in the FA Cup on Saturday as they trailed by four goals to nil with ten men by half-time. And despite three goals in the final 11 minutes, they couldn't force a replay. Nine of tonight's sides started that game, with Ify Allen and Gavin Tomlin being replaced by Ashley Carew and Kingsley Eshan. Palace hit 14th in the top flight with seven points from the opening eight games. Despite the international break, they arrive with a strong side tonight, with ten first-teamers giving a start. Only Jordan Ayew and Max May are featured in Saturday's 1-0 loss against Wolves. Whatever the result may be this evening, the Hamlet will want to give a good account of themselves against the Eagles on this important night for the club. Long before by Green is uh, picked up uh, by a Palace man. It's Jordan Ayu now. Pass intercepted to Ashley Carew. Great test we've done by this night. And a great ball through by uh, Brian Devald. Mayer draws the goalkeeper, pulls it back. Good block by Magnus Okongai. Mayer split the offside there. Played in by Jaru. Brian Devald. Mayer pulled it back. It's a good block by Magnus Okongai. Dalich almost exposed straight away there from the start. Inside a minute, Tyrick Mitchell is wearing number three tonight for Crystal Palace. Joel Ward. Williams around the corner, it's a nice flick. Ayu, has space to move into. Goes to the early shot, just wide of the far post. Lovely flick around the corner by Johnny Williams. Ayu trying to fire across Edwards, it's not far wide of the far post from the gun end. Dulles just a little bit stretched there. Kongai had to come across to Ayu. Ashley Crew in the unfamiliar number four shirt tonight. That's a tail along by a Kongai. Helped on back in the end. Eshin got to the ball first and looking to drive on now. Kings Eshin showing his pace into the area. Big chance for Dulwich. Didn't know where to shoot or cross in the end and he's chipped it too far across goal. Long way over Akinyemi. Sorry, Ferguson arriving and uh, away for a throw in. Top flight players in England. One of the best leagues, if not the best league in the world. Williams chests that one down. Shot from distance is a good one from Mayer, and Edwards has to palm away. Sweet connection from Max Mayer, and Edwards his first meaningful save of the game. Mayer. Tries to give and go with Kaikai. Kaikai Kai Kai had won it back. Vos had nicked it off him for a moment. And there's a chance here for Palace. Into the side, Nessing and wide. Tyreek Mitchell got into the area. Drew Edwards tries to slot inside his near post, but it's hit the side netting and gone away for a goal kick. 14 and a half minutes gone, 0 0. Palace with the best of chances so far. Here goes Ayu, right side of the penalty area. Inside it comes Kai Kai. Punching to his left. And on to Mayer. Is there a shot for him? There is. Good finish by Max Mayer. Picked his spot and found the top corner. Excellent goal from Crystal Palace. Patient build up and a fine finish by the German international mayor. Build up play down the right. Ayu into Kaika on to punch it when first time pass to Mayer. He's opened his body up and guided it into the top corner. Good finish by uh, Mayer. Karu. Got away from one player with twinkle toe movement. Edwards has come herring off his line hit. Great work, Preston Edwards. That was penalty area. Ayu showing his pace. Wrestled the Everton player to the ground. Palace lost that day. He wasn't the number one for his first two years. Gabor Kirali was ahead of him in the pecking order, but he's been a great servant to the club down the years. Here goes Meyer for Palace at the other end. Pulling it back and poke wide. Jason Punchin had arrived in the area. About 12 yards out, toe pokes at the wrong side of the post. Challenged by Quaid Taylor. Ayu then has produced a fantastic bit of skill to flick it through his legs. Lovely back heel, Ayu again, drop of the shoulder, step over. And wide to Joel Ward, that's a lovely bit of play, worth watching that again later. Williams, Kai Kai, shots open for him. It's a great goal! Well, Crystal Palace have produced a marvellous football for that second goal. Started by Jordan Ayu in sublime fashion. And then Sully Kai Kai has pulled a finish out of the top draw. Rifles it in from distance. Just a bit of space open up, about 20 yards out, maybe a little bit more. Arrows are shot into the top corner. Outstanding goal, and there's that Premier League class again. Same for the first goal. Kai Kai. Another one from the uh, Palace Academy. Crew again, 30 yards out. Vos out to the left flank, Nathan Green. One touch up from Dulwich, Dominic Vos again. 
Got a bit of skill perhaps to uh, beat Rydervaldi, he's done just that. Oh, that's unlucky from Dominic Vos, trying to bend one into the far corner. Got some decent curve on it, but not enough. It's just wide of the far post, Broni. A full stretch, may well have got a hand had it been on target. Sully Kai Kai. Trying to beat Ming. Ming put in half a challenge. Come for Connor Wickham. Wouldn't open up for a shot for him. Uh, there's a shot though from uh, Ryderwald. Good save by Edwards. Snapshot from the goalkeeper. Sorry, snapshot from uh, the midfielder. The goalkeeper, Edwards, has made a decent stop diving to his right and uh, prevents Daly from reaching the loose ball as well. Really good work though from Ryderwald coming from midfield. Not for a couple of years though, I don't think he's played. Great challenge by Ming on Kai Kai, read that situation well. Ishan to his right, Akinimi making his way into the area, if Ishan can find a cross now. Gets goal side of O'Dwyer, low cross, it's a decent one. I don't think it was Martin Kelly in there. It was a slip by Torre and the ball's come through to Wickham. To his left is Sully Kai Kai. Also at the outside of the post, tried to find the top corner. Struck the woodwork on its way through, it did deflect, so Dulwich have to defend this corner. Ferguson playing the ball out to Dean Conter, low one towards the near post. Akinemi was poised and ready, it needed the intervention of Martin Kelly to uh, prevent a chance there for Akinemi. Bivos from the far side. Into a packed penalty area it comes. It's headed away by O'Dwyer. Abrahams there's to shoot. He's done just that. A shot is straight at Julian Speroni. Went through a lot of bodies. Dulwich only leaving Tomlin downfield. Everyone else back to defend. In by Kai Kai. Great third goal. Connor Wickham it is. Bullet header off the underside of the crossbar. Got across his man at the near post. Again, Edwards couldn't have done anything about that. He enjoyed that one, Connor Wickham. Dulwich not defending. From uh, the corner kick there, it's a great finish from Wickham. Kai Kai sent it in, Wickham got across his man. Head off the other side of the crossbar. It's a very popular goal that from the Palace fans. Punch and long. Asking Wickham to chase and Wickham will do just that. Up against Jake Torre, into the area, good first touch from Connor Wickham. Edward sticks out a boot. And Torre volleys off the line, but the rebound is put home. James Daly following up. Little Edwards could have done again there. Wickham with a great bit of pace to get away from Torre. Went for the early shot. Edwards stuck out a boot. Torre herring back towards goal line. Got the clearance in, but the rebound converted by Daly. Wasteful pass. Flanagan it was. He picked it up. Surging now is Joel Ward. Electric pace on the right back into Connor Wickham. Drop the shoulder. Edwards has made a great save again. Thunderous drive from Wickham, tips it onto the post, Edwards. Wickham now the ball's come across him, turns nicely. Kai Kai turns away from Ferguson. Alice just a bit more energy left in the tank than Dulles. Abrahams has fouled um, Kai Kai. There goes Punchin. Away from Abrahams. And away from Taylor. It's cross takes deflection. Torre gets the first block in, kept away from Daly. Chances here for Flanagan, five. His turn to pick out a thunderous drive. Swung his right boot at that and it's flown into the roof of the net. And Palace just uh, starting to score with a bit of ease. And Torre put in the original clearance, came out to the youngster, Kian Flanagan. It's a really nice strike again. It may have taken a little nick. In any case, it's found the roof of the net. And it's 5-0 to the visitors. Those to deliver. It's a good area. Mates there. Oh, it's tipped over. Great save by Speroni. 
I'm not even sure May got a touch, but Speroni got down. It was a bouncing awkwardly in front of him, and he's put in a good low save to tip it over the crossbar. Would have been uh, a bit blindsided by Jay May there. Taking the corner short, Dulwich. Vos. Another good ball in, and getting up there was Jake Torre. He heads behind for a goal kick. A couple of opportunities there for Dulwich. So close to opening their account for the night. Kaikar left on his backside by Dominic Vos. Uh, on the wet surface, I'm sure, contributes as well. Good ball forward. Tomlin. Just uh, out-muscled so comfortably there by Ryder Vals. Former Football League man, Gavin Tomlin. Daly's played it through. Wickham just about onside against Torre. Onto his right foot. Tries to bend one. See what he's trying to do there. But too much height on that from Connor Wickham. And he can't add to his goal from earlier in the half. Cook will take the corner now that Vose and Carew are both off the field. It comes from Taylor, stoop to flick it on. Tomlin, Abrahams. It's a good ball in from Tanasha Abrahams and headed behind by Martin Kelly. Well defended, it was a difficult one for Speroni to come out to and Kelly had to take decisive action. Cook again then. In it comes. A lot more pace at that time. It was beyond Taylor, Abrahams. There's a shoot again. He's done just that and Speroni gathers on his goal line, catching it above his head. And I think it's uh, Tavares, who is the centre-back, is the number four, he's just come on. Here's Wickham, though, with the chance. Ebers with the save. Daly's there, misses from a yard out. He's offside in any case, tries to volley it in and put it behind for a goal kick. Allen. Similar position to where he was against Wokem when he scored, and Allen's opened his body up. Couldn't repeat the trick, though, on that occasion. Trying to guide it to the far corner, just as he did to win the game in that league game at Woking recently. That one sails harmlessly over for a goal kick, though. We know what we've done in the game. Um, we're very grateful to, to Crystal Palace um, for bringing down such a competitive team. Um, Mr Hodgson, the former England manager, coming down as well and supporting us. So um, for us, it was fantastic. The game was just what I was hoping it would be. Uh, we, we certainly got out of the game what we wanted to get out of the game. There were some really good performances and it was nice to see players who haven't had a chance to actually play any sort of competitive match for a while. They've been working so well in training. It was good to see them on the field and I thought Dulwich Hamlet gave us a, an excellent game. I, it was tough for them because of the quality of the players who were out there so it was difficult for them but I think they stuck at their task very well. And, all the time the game I thought was, was very enjoyable and it's nice to see so many people here too. I didn't know quite what to expect in terms of a crowd but I thought the crowd was very good here tonight. Great for your boys to, to pick their wits against uh, Premier League players as well. Yeah, definitely. I mean, some of them may never do that again. Um, hopefully some do, you know, but um, like I say, it's an experience that they can uh, take with them for the rest of their lives. How do you think they fared? At times, all right. We've got some good players. We've got some good technical players, and the, the difference is obviously they're a lot sharper in, the, in thought and uh, in speed at times. Um, and it's hard for our boys to keep up, which means they start to make a few mistakes. Um, but when we was in control a few times on the ball, we we done all right. We passed it all well. Um, and again, like you can't um, take away from the fact that they're playing the Premier League uh, for one, and they train very hard throughout the week. Thanks you for bringing down the team tonight. You've played a lot of non-league football back in your playing career so you know the value of non-league football. How important is it to have clubs like Dulwich that are able to fight for their survival and remain as an institution? Well I think it's important. I think that you know, clubs that are like, like Dulwich and many other non-league clubs that I can think of, they've got a, a long history too, often almost as long a history as some of the you know Premier League clubs or the, the, the clubs that founded the league in the 1800s. Corinthian Casuals and Dulwich are two of the two very much of the older ones. So it, it is important too for the community, I think, for the local people. You know, there are lots of people who've been following, following this club for years and years and passed down their interest to their to their families. So it's good that clubs like yours can keep going. We were disappointed at Palace because you're such close neighbours to see what happened when you lost Champions Hill and were forced to forage for another place to play, and that's never easy. Palace know that themselves, uh, so you know, we, when, when grounds are being developed sometimes you get moved on, so we were happy tonight to be able to help out, especially seeing 
uh, that the game went so well. It has been a struggle over the last year or so, everything going off, uh, going on off the field. How great were the fans tonight? Coming in their numbers, 1,200 people, it's great for a Thursday night, isn't it? And they've been great all the way through. Yeah, it's great. It's great that, uh, like you say, it's a Thursday night. We've got another game on Saturday and people will be coming along again to, to Hungerford away. Um, they're true supporters. Um, they've come down knowing full well. The more numbers we get, the better it is for the football club. Um, and, you know, they're real, real good fans.